Hi, my name is Kevin Jones from Rock Solid Knowledge, and welcome to this talk on setting up the all-in-one SSO and admin UI Docker image. So setting up single sign-on can be difficult. There are a lot of steps to go through and a lot of configuration that's needed. Similarly, admin UI when it's set up also needs to be configured to work with Identity Server. To make things easier, we've come up with a, another option and we've labeled this the all-in-one SSO solution. This is a dock image that you can install onto your local machine and then configure it. And you can use this, for example, to try out SSO. For example, if you're writing a proof of concept, this will make it much easier to get you started. So for this talk, I'm not going to walk through installing Docker. We're assuming it's already installed on your machine. So the first thing we have to do is install the image. And the image is called rock solid knowledge forward slash identity server hyphen dev hyphen SSO. And to install it, you do a Docker run. You specify the ports. So we have port 3000 on our local machine that's forwarding to port 3000 on the Docker image. And we give it a name. And the name in this case is all in one. Once we run this, it tries to find the image locally. And if it can't do that, it then pulls the image from rock solid knowledge, identity server, dev SSO. Once that's complete, we need to enter a license key. If we leave this blank, we use a built-in starter license. And as that says, we get up to five clients and a hundred users, or we can get a license from sales at identityserver.com. I'm leaving this blank here, so we'll just use the demo license, hitting enter. The Docker image then runs some internal migrations to set up identity server and to set up admin UI. We see the database, that's that starting sample seed, and we then start identity server, admin UI, and the API that's used behind the scenes. So once we've done that, it now tells us admin UI and identity server are running and if we navigate to localhost 3000, we'll see the welcome page. So once we're here, we see we get links to various things. From here, we can log in to Identity Server. We can get to the admin UI dashboard, and we can also get to the admin UI documentation. And clicking on that link, sure enough, shows us the documentation. So if I go back and then log into Identity Server, here there's a login button, and for that we need some credentials. Then going back to the welcome page and scrolling down slightly, we can see there's a set of default login credentials, which is info at rocksolidknowledge.com with a password, password123 bang. So on the welcome to identity server page, if I click on the login button and enter those credentials, then that logs me in to identity server. I can also log into admin UI using the same credentials. Now note that if you've already logged into Identity Server, you won't need to log in again. So once you're in admin UI, you get asked to create a new administrator. So here I can enter my name, a username, my email address. I can add a password. And once I save this, I'll have a new admin inside admin UI. That logs me out, and then I can log in using the details for this new administrator. And that takes me into admin UI and lets me manage Identity Server for this particular instance. So to show Identity Server in action, we're going to write a client. But rather than write this client from scratch, we'll use one of the pre-built examples. So if I go to this URL, on here there's a link which says MVC client. And if I follow that, it takes me off to GitHub. So what I'm going to do is to clone this code. We clone the Duende software samples code. And then inside Rider, I'm going to open samples, identity server, v5, quick starts, to interactive ASP.NET and quick start solution. And this gives me access to the MVC quick start that we're going to amend here to talk to our instance of identity server. So in here, I need to make a few changes. 
And those changes are all in startup.cs. So I change the authority endpoint to be localhost 3000 forward slash IDS. The client ID, secret and response type stay the same. The authority has to be HTTP, not HTTPS. And we have to set an options of require HTTPS metadata to be false as we're using HTTP, not HTTPS. So now if I run this, we get redirected to identity server. I can log in using the credentials that I created earlier. So that was Kevin J and the password. And then when we log in, we list out the claims for this particular user. So I hope you've enjoyed this talk. And I hope you've seen from this, the setting up an SSO example is easier than it's ever been.